When the verdict is announced, the results could prompt demonstrations and protests across the country. Tensions already high following the police shooting uh, death of Dante Wright, but here in Pittsburgh, city and county authorities say they'll be prepared for any protests. Andy Sheehan spoke with law enforcement leaders today. Andy. Well, Ken, as always, police say they will try to strike a balance, a balance between the protesters' right to be heard and the rights of everyone else to be protected. If the Chauvin verdict results in a new round of street protests, police and public safety around the region say they'll be ready. There's been a lot of planning going on behind the scenes, um, you know, and we're not going to get into the details of it. In fact, there's meetings going on as we're speaking here today. City and county police have been talking, training, and planning, trying to learn lessons from last year's roving marches and strike a balance, a balance between the rights of the protesters to protest and the rights of the rest of the public and businesses to feel safe. We're going to do our job to the best of our ability to protect people, respect their rights, and uh, more importantly, too, is keeping it safe for everybody. Last May, protesters smashed windows at some 70 downtown businesses and looted others when a march turned violent. And Allegheny County Sheriff William Mullen says police need to be more proactive to prevent that from happening. It's great to have uh, the protesters you know, obtain their rights, but we just can't ignore other people's rights, particularly those people who are going to be losing their, home, their homes or their businesses. It, it's because no one went to, to help them out. But unlike last year, businesses downtown were not boarding up today, and Kelly Sanders of the arts and crafts store Love Pittsburgh is hoping for peace. I support protesting. I think everybody's voices need to be heard. Of course, I don't want our store to get looted or damaged, but I, I side with people that need to f express how they feel. As does the mayor. To do what Americans do, which is express their their thoughts, uh, but we can do it in a way that's peaceful for everyone. Now, police say that they are prepared for any eventuality, and sources say they expect to have these protests even if Chauvin is found guilty of manslaughter, which they believe the protesters will not find sufficient. Reporting live downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.